For me, I grew up in a rural town, suburb of Hilo in Hawaii, and we were outside all day long and we were climbing guava trees over the cow pasture and trying to feed guavas to the cows barefoot all the time. And it was summer year round essentially. And we were never in the house. Mom didn't want you there. So part of why we moved here was to try recreate that. I looked for over two years for a house and I chose to bring my family here. And we love where we live right now. It's exactly what we were looking for. It has the walkability component of being able to get to that old town central heart. Um, but it has the wilderness component that we were looking for. And we wanted our kids to be able to go out and be in nature and play in a river if they wanted. They know their neighbors. We feel fine with letting them bike around. My daughter's now turning 10 and I feel comfortable letting her and her friends come out. So she's able to just come out and have the kind of experience that's, that I had. And then she loves coming back and telling me, Mom, you got to come see this fort we built. And she's just a filthy mess. And I love it. That's, that's what we were going for. It makes me feel like Lafayette's still a small town that really cares about its sense of community. I think it's valuable to have a small town feel because more and more in the age of technology and the internet, people are starting to lose the face-to-face. -face. And in my opinion, that's kind of what makes us human, is wanting to have that connection. I'm a real estate agent. People come to me searching for that, that place that reminds them of where they grew up. It feels good to know your neighbors, to know your neighbors have similar interests. In this day and age, it, you can get so caught up in all the negativity where it's easy to hide behind a screen. Seeing smiles and receiving hugs or handshakes or just having that positive human interaction is good for your health. Lafayette has a really good network helping folks that are in different parts of Lafayette access trails and amenities and outdoor spaces. There are folks from all different backgrounds. We have a really strong Hispanic population that is fantastic. I know my husband loves going to the library every Wednesday night for free Spanish classes because a lady from Colombia goes and teaches folks there. The different festivals and art programs and farmers markets and ways to get out of your house on your feet and meeting people in the community are endless. You can really choose your own adventure in Lafayette. Sorry, Dad. Look, where is he? 